In this video, I'm going to review a couple of battery testers. These are under $5 from eBay and uh, AliExpress. Both of them have a digital display, pretty large size, and both of them do not need any battery inside. They will take the supply from the measured battery, which is very convenient. You never have to worry about battery leaking. You can put these in your box with other batteries and have them always ready. Now, both of them are pretty well designed, except that this one seems to latch on the first reading, which means that the readings will not be consistent. This one has actually a sampling rate about two or three times per second. It will correct the reading. So I would recommend this one. It has a spring, and this little arm will unfold, and you can see the cable and the spring in the back. And then this is the positive terminal of your battery. This is the negative in the bottom. Also, there are terminals for the 9 volt batteries right here, described. And the arm will uh, tell you that you can measure between 1.2 and 4.8, which means that you can also measure lithium cells with this little guy. And this same with this one. It's got different openings for different batteries, including button cell in the bottom. And then you also have the 9 volts uh, in the bottom. Uh, however, when it comes to the accuracy, this one is uh, much better. So I would recommend uh, this guy if you look for a digital battery tester. What I'm going to do is attach a magnet on the back so that way I can stick it somewhere handy, convenient, and never worry about misplacing it. Here's the demonstration. This one has uh, is measuring right now a AAA rechargeable fully charged battery showing 1.44 and this one has a new alkaline battery shows 1.59 volts. Uh, both of them work okay. I would recommend this one. Uh, this one samples the battery, it will correct its uh, result. This one doesn't seem to correct the result so whatever is the first measurement it latches onto it and sometimes it may uh, show discrepancy if you measure insert the battery the same battery a few times you may get a little bit different results this one is pretty consistent so I would recommend uh, this little guy and this is uh, the BT168 Max the brand is Anning and this one is also the same brand but the model is BT189 so get this one here's a look inside the first one has a 14 pin chip and this little inductor this serves probably to boost the voltage it sends it to the voltage regulator and the other one has a 16 pin there's no name on the chip it's got a couple of electrolytics and also tiny inductor right here which boosts the voltage and controls it through this chip well give it thumbs up if you like it thank you for watching